so we're at the Wilbrick Beetling Mill, which has to be one of the most beautiful little properties in Northern Ireland. It's 50 years old this year, uh, on their 125th year, which feels really appropriate. So I've been here before, but actually I don't know all about it. Stephen, do you want to tell me? Well, Hilary, there's been a, a mill on this site since the 1740s. This particular mill was built in the 1840s and it had its ups and downs, but it really came into play when the American Civil War began and the cotton no longer could be used for these islands, so they turned to flax and linen. And Wellbrook Beetling Mill, beetles bash down the, the linen and make a lovely damask shine out of it. And uh, it's a fantastic material. And the look went from there to the Lanyon buildings that you see today in Belfast. And it is that sheen that makes the difference, isn't mm. it? Because when you look at linen and it's quite a raw, gorgeous material actually, but that beetling, that process of beetling. And essentially what happens that these, these um, it's, we don't know what kind of wood is it, do we know? Well, these will be beech. Oh. And there's a series of cogs that get powered by the big wheel outside. Yep. And the river Ballanderry. Uh, is kind of, there's, there's a flume that enters and exits at the wheel and the cogs move and then the beetles go up and down and that's where they bash against the linen and make that lovely sheen yeah. for the finished product. Unfortunately we can't hear today. I have been here before when these have been working and the sound is unbelievable. Mm. Uh, it must have been quite a difficult place to work. Yeah, so you would have had, generally speaking, children scurrying along here picking up the, the rags and fixing machines as the machines are bashing away. And uh, there would have been, unfortunately, some fatalities and definitely injuries throughout the... And surely there must have been a hearing uh, impact. Absolutely, yeah. I remember it being deafening and I had ear uh, protectors on at the time. Yeah. Is this the only one left in Northern Ireland? In Northern Ireland, this is the only functional beetling mill left in Northern Ireland. And uh, we we have some serious specialists that love to come here from time to time and educate us. It is the most gorgeous place and anybody that wants to know anything about linen ought to come here, but more importantly, it's just the atmosphere and it just tells so many stories over so many years. Thank you.